Hello little fishes. Happy Christmas. It's nearly time for Father Christmas to come and it's nearly time for us to celebrate the birth of Jesus. It's a well-known story, isn't it? But I thought um, I'd be able to tell you a couple of stories. Oh, Casper's gone. A couple of stories from some of my favourite uh, Christmas books uh, to tell the story again, just, um, just before Christmas. There's going to be a couple of videos. Um, there's this one and then two more for you to watch during today, tomorrow, and maybe even on Christmas Day. The first one is, well, it's the story of the nativity, but it's told in a way like you've never heard it told before, because some friends of mine, some people that you know from the Bridge Church have joined with me to tell the story, and we've told the story on Zoom. So let's take a look. Well, this is a special time of year. And we have a special story to tell, and we wanted you to be a part of it. Can you guess what that story is? It's the story of a baby. It's an old story. It's a true story. It's the story of how Jesus came to be born. It's the story of how God sent his son into the world. This is Gabriel. Gabriel is an angel and Gabriel has been very busy. God sent Gabriel to a place called Nazareth, where a young girl called Mary was counting the days until she was going to be married to the man she loved, Joseph. One, two, three, four, five... Mary counted. Seven, eight, nine. Mary counted some more. Ten, eleven. I can hardly wait. Soon I'll be married to Joseph and we will live happily ever after together. But then she stopped counting and dreaming because she noticed Gabriel standing in the corner of the room. She was shocked and a little bit afraid. Hello, Mary. There's no need to be scared. I've got some special news from God. God wants you to be the mother of a little baby, and you must call him Jesus. Mary couldn't understand what Gabriel meant. She and Joseph weren't married yet. Mary, listen. This baby will be God's son, and God's spirit will be looking after you. I know this is amazing news, but God is amazing. Mary closed her eyes and tried to calm down. One, two, three, four, five. She counted and breathed deeply. She felt God very close to her and she felt that she could trust God. And with God, she would be able to have this special baby. And so she said, yes. Now Gabriel had more work to do. Someone had to explain to Joseph what was going to happen. Mary had tried to explain to Joseph about the angel and about the message from God and about the baby called Jesus but Joseph didn't understand. He decided he couldn't marry Mary if she was going to have a baby. And so he decided to call the wedding off. So God told Gabriel to visit Joseph in a dream. Joseph tried to get to sleep that night. He counted sheep. One, two, Three, four, five, six, until soon he was snoring loudly. Joseph, said Gabriel in Joseph's dream. There's no need to be worried about your wedding to Mary. Everything she said is true. God has chosen her to be the mother of his son and chosen you to take care of her. 
His name is going to be Jesus, and it means God saves. And that is exactly what Jesus will do. This baby is being born to save the whole world and teach the whole world about God's love. Joseph woke up and straight away knew what he was going to do. He was going to marry Mary. He was going to care for her and love the little boy Jesus just as God had asked him to. Now let's go back and see what Mary's up to. She and Joseph are married and she's in their house getting ready for the baby to be born. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine months since the angel came to see me. It's almost time for Jesus to be born. I need to count the blankets and the shawls. One, two, three, four, and the towels, five, six, seven, eight. Everything is ready. I'm ready. But Mary wasn't the only one counting. The Roman emperor wanted to know how many people were living in the country. And he had called a census. So everyone in the land had to be counted. One, two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight thousand, nine thousand. And everyone had to go back to their hometown to be counted. Mary, we have to travel to Bethlehem, said Joseph. Bethlehem? But that will take, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six days at least. I know, but we have to go. I will take care of you and the baby. And remember, God is with you. You can count on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, Mary counted the miles and the footsteps of the donkey. When they arrived in Bethlehem, Joseph counted the inns. One, two, three, four. But they were all full. The town was busy and there was no room. Until one friendly innkeeper said they could use the room behind the inn where the animals lived. And it was there that Jesus was born, in the night. And Mary laid him in a manger full of hay to keep him warm. And Joseph was happy, and Mary was happy. And they smiled at the baby. And Mary counted her baby's tiny fingers and tiny toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, that's not the end of the story. I still got work to do, you know. Ah, yes. God wanted Gabriel to announce the birth of Jesus. Out on the hillside outside Bethlehem, there were some shepherds counting their sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's where God wanted me to go. I polished my angel wings <clears throat> and made myself bright and shiny and whoosh, I appeared in the sky. Don't be afraid, I said. But the shepherds were afraid. They'd never seen anything like it. I bring some good news. God has sent someone very special to bring joy into the world. A baby has been born. And if you go now to the town, you'll find that baby lying in a manger. Shepherds looked at one another and then they looked up and started to count. One, two, 
three, four hundred, five hundred, and more angels everywhere in the sky. Too many to count. Wow! Gosh! Golly! said the shepherds. Let's go straight away. This is amazing news, and we want to see the newborn baby. The news the angels gave us has made us happy. <laughs> Let's go and see the baby. Meanwhile, in a land far, far away, some star watchers were looking into the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those stargazers loved to count the stars in the sky. They made charts of where the stars were and how they moved through the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, wow, how, what? There's a new star and it's moving. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yes, this is zoom. We use zoom a lot to keep in touch. No, no, the star is zooming. I seem to remember reading that when stars move in the sky, it's a sign that a king has been born. Shall we go on an adventure? Yes, yeah, shall we follow the star? And so the stargazers set out on their journey to follow the star to Bethlehem. It took them many months. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and more. Eventually, the stargazers followed the star to Bethlehem. It stopped zooming and travelled more slowly until it stopped over an ordinary looking house. It doesn't look like a place where a king should be born. But they knocked on the door three times. One, two, three. Joseph let the stargazers in. Mary was amazed at these people and the gifts that they brought. Gifts for a king. Gold. Frankincense. Yeah. After the visitors had left, Mary and Joseph thought about all that had happened since Gabriel had visited them and the people and things that had been part of their story. Innkeeper and his wife. One, two. A stable, three. The shepherds, four, five, six. Ah, seven. The Magi, eight, nine, ten. And the angels, too many to count. It is the most amazing story. It's the story of a baby. It's an old story. It's a true story. It's the story of how Jesus came to be born. It's the story of how God sent his son into the world. And it's why we celebrate at Christmas time. Thank you for sharing our story with us this morning. We hope that you have a Christmas full of joy and hope as you remember the birth of this special baby that changed the world. And we look forward to seeing you soon in the new year when things change for the better. So take care and God bless and goodbye from all of us. Bye. Did you enjoy that? We enjoyed filming it. 
later on today or maybe tomorrow or Christmas Day, you can come back and watch another film, uh, another telling of the Christmas story from me here in my lounge at the manse. See you soon, little fishes.